Hi everybody, it's Lady Kayla here and welcome to The Geekdom. Today I am going to be reviewing The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle. I want to start off by saying I absolutely loved this book and I do highly recommend it for Robin Hood fans. It was written in 1883 by the American illustrator and writer Howard Pyle and because of that it does have a little bit of a dated language and because it is telling of Robin Hood from an earlier time period it does have a lot of um, terminology and stuff that you might have to look up if you're unfamiliar with the time period. But I don't think the language and the way it's written is complex enough to alienate people who might possibly be interested in reading it. So if you're worried about language and the way it might come off when you're reading it, you might want to look it up how it's written before diving into it. Um, but I do think it's still fairly easy to read. You might just have to look up a couple of words here and there, but that's always fun looking up new own words that you're not necessarily familiar with. So let's get into this. This is amazing. I grew up with Robin Hood, um, especially like Kevin Costner's version of Robin Hood and all the different film versions of Robin Hood that we see. And he's mostly portrayed as, you know, a fighter of justice, and that's definitely apparent in this book. But the Mary part, I feel, is often neglected in a lot of adaptations that we see of Robin Hood. And um, he's usually written as a more serious character, somebody who's more a fighter for justice, something more along the lines of, I guess, um, Batman instead of the happy-go-lucky guy that he's portrayed in this book. And I must say that the closest adaptation to um, this version of Robin Hood would be um, the Men in Tights version. And the way he's quirky and always jesting and everything's kind of a joke and everything's funny, that's exactly what this Robin Hood represents. And it's all about having a good time while remaining fair and just. And um, they were just a bunch of like pranksters that lived in the forest, a bunch of happy-go-lucky people who felt that being a yeoman um, was the absolute pinnacle of existence and um, they did believe in justice but they also believed in taking stuff for themselves and playing jokes on people that they felt were mean and were unjust and did treat the people poorly so there's a lot of elements of Robin Hood that are completely classic that we see all across the board but I feel like not very many uh, versions take the joking part into consideration. They always dump the merry part of Robin Hood, except for Men in Tights, which I feel like is very much what this Robin Hood comes off of as. So that was immediately something that really appealed to me because I'm so used to Justice characters being serious, you know, hence Batman, hence even Kevin Cosner's version of Robin Hood, and a couple other versions that we've seen portray him in a serious manner. Um, but that's not what this Robin Hood represents, and I feel like that was completely charming, and the entire book was very, very charming. As for the writing, I think it was a beautiful mix of paying attention to detail and trying to describe to you the world that these um, this band of thieves <laughs> were in because that was an important element to Robin. Robin felt like living the life in the forest was the best way to live and that was his favorite place to be was in Sherwood Forest. It wasn't necessarily just because he was an outlaw. He had a affinity for his surroundings and he loved them and cherished them and um, his relationship with his band of merry um, men was absolutely genuine and they developed a a bond with Robin Hood that was near that was pretty much unbreakable and 
it's just nice to see how he developed this relationship with his band. And most of them, the encounters were like these like tussles and like fun kind of butting heads. But they respected each other at the end and they respected each other for the strengths that they brought to the team and, you know, how entertaining they were for the team. You know, they're always telling each other to sing. They're always trying to have great big feasts and party all the time. And they were all about living a good life and not just good in terms of morality, but good in terms of enjoying living and enjoying the surroundings that you're in and putting yourself in the surroundings that you want to be in. And Robin was also about having new experiences. He would go up and dress as different characters. You know, we do see a lot of times Robin Hood goes into disguise. Um, and I think a lot of versions of Robin Hood show Robin going into some kind of disguise or another, whether it's him just covering up in a hood or him going all out and um, dressing up as someone that he's not. So um, he likes doing that and not just because he's trying to hide who he is, because in this world, nobody really knows what Robin looks like, I guess, since it's so old that, um, you know, Back in the day, people aren't able to share like photos like we are today. So he was pretty much able to get away with nobody knowing what he looked like other than like hearsay. Um, and so, but he would do it, he would dress up as different characters or different people because he wanted to embody what he was dressing up as. And I felt like that was another really awesome aspect of Robin Hood was him just enjoying experiences and pretty much doing whatever he felt like he wanted to do. And he was very competitive and very <sighs> go get it. And I just, I really love this aspect of Robin Hood that I felt was very, um, genuine because he had a lot of, you know, pride and he was egotistical and I felt like that was all really, I don't know, endearing to his character and I felt like this book was a very awesome portrayal of Robin Hood because I felt he was more complex than just a serious character out for justice um, or revenge. And, um, so yeah, this book is just very uplifting, very happy. And then, um, it does contain his, like, start when he becomes Robin Hood all the way up to his passing. And I've been a Robin Hood fan for many, many years. And I could not stop crying. Like, every chapter is titled so I knew what was coming and I literally had to put the book down for a day and I already started crying and I I went to like my partner and I was like I don't think I can read this and he's like why and I like showed him the title and the illustration and I was like because I know what's coming and I started crying and then as I was reading it to finally finish it I was crying some more and so this is an awesome book if you want like a uh, kind of like a complete telling of Robin Hood from beginning of his um, outlaw <laughs> escapades to the end where he passes. And it's a book full of kind of like mini stories, each story telling a different event that happens, like when he meets new members of his band, um, when he goes up against some of his nemesis, um, and when he goes up against new people who have it out for him. And they're all pretty brief short stories. Some of them don't go into as much detail as I'd like. Um, some details kind of get sprung up on you out of nowhere, like you'll meet a character as it's convenient for them to enter the story instead of them being entered into the story earlier on. So it's not the most like well thought out or detailed experience with Robin Hood, but it's definitely a charming sort of comp compilation of Robin's adventures 
and it is called The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood, so it is set up that way. And it's actually a really good book if you want to read it to someone else, especially like someone younger before bedtime because they are kind of set up in little chunks, little bite-sized pieces that you can read to someone before going to bed. And I think this is a really good book for that if you read to other people. And um, it's a good way to introduce people to um, this kind of old-timey <laughs> um, fantasy that um, you may be interested in getting people into if they are not familiar with it already. Um, and it's also full of awesome terminology that you can explain to whoever you're reading it to or just to yourself if you're not familiar. So I love that book hands down from start to finish. I was never <sighs> disappointed with it. I was never bored with it. I was always wanting to read more when I picked up that book and it was it was well-rounded, I think, and while it does have kind of its flaws, like I said, it's not as detailed as I would like, it is a good read. So um, if you want to check it out, go ahead. It's Robin Hood, or The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.